Good morning and good evening. The Church of All Support President of the Church do the right thing. Be safe and God bless. Um, what I want to comment today about voting the votes back home in the Philippines. Um, first of all, I want to congratulate uh, Bartos de la Rosa, you know, to become a senator. I uh, haven't heard about Bongo. Uh, Bongo. If he's, I think Bongo is still in. He's just, he qualified also. So very happy to hear that um, Bartos de la Rosa, you will become a senator. And um, congrats for the people who won through our president's side, our president the 30s party who won and who's becoming a new senator and uh, to our people and to our country in the Philippines. Um, happy to hear that. Great news. I always wanted them most of the part of our president the 30 to win, which they do deserve it. And they are the good people and the right people to be in place to rule our country forward and to push it everything forward and still being inside politics and stopping corruption. So why Bartos de la Rosa is quite also a good and a good influence uh, for all of us in the Philippines as a PNP, a chief of the police is a great honor to have him as becoming a senator. So being inside the parliament and being politics is a great thing for Bartos to be and that's a good place for him to be also. Plus you will have a lot of, you know, he has a good friends in politics. He has a lot of good friends, which is they already have been senators for many years and he will have a lot of support from them. So he is not alone. He's nothing to be afraid. And, uh, you know, just remember people, stop criticizing because he's already knows the law. So he has a lot of knowledge about law. If he's the police of the PNP, so he has a lot, a lot, a lot of knowledge of, you know, um, the law of the country. So let's not put him like he, yes, he's going back to school and he's going to learn and blah, blah. Everybody has to learn. Everywhere you start, doesn't matter what kind of job you are into, you're always learning. So even if you've done the job and for many, many years and you transfer it from one place to another, still everything is bits and pieces for you to learn and something new for you to progress. So it's not a bad thing going into going to do this, uh, taking a course. Uh, it's not a bad thing, is it? Many senators has done that. They have never done those kind of jobs before, but they put themselves in it. They went to take the courses, going back to school to learn what they have to do. And they done well. So why we have to criticize Bartos de la Rosa at this moment in time? You know, um, should we give him some credit? Hello. Everybody should give him some credit. And remember, Bartos de la Rosa has already knowledge of the law of the country. Okay, he was, as everybody knows, and just to remind you guys, the chief of police in the Philippines. So, he has knowledge of the law of the Philippines. Now, learning how to become a senator, yes, he has bits and pieces, like everybody else and like other senators who are there today, they also had to learn. They also had to go to school, learn some um, what they have to do and things like that. And they done well, didn't they? So why shouldn't we criticize Bartos de la Rosa for what? We should support him. And I'm one of them. I'm really happy Bartos is in there and Bongo also. And uh, continuously do will stay as being senators and progress to become much more than a senator. Because those people, they are the ones who can look after our country and still put their foot down and stop corruption after our President Duterte will leave the post. So this is a scary um, thought of our President Duterte retiring or in the end of the, his term, he leaves us. This for our country will be a really terrible thing. 
I would like him to continue as being president on the Philippines, not only just his six years, but continuously until his health is okay, until he's in his right mind, until he can do the work and, you know, uh, stop corruption, stop drugs, stop everything in our country, great. But that's why our president also put in Bartos de la Rosa bongo, uh, bongo in it and his tribe of the 30 to be inside the government. Because if anything happens in between inside there, we're going to know, the public is going to know, we have people inside which we can count on to be um, supported and to stop still corruption. And I hope Senator Alan Catano, you will be the next president of the Philippines. So this is my um, hope and willing, and I do know this, pre this uh, Mr. Alan Catano, you will be the next president of the Philippines. But I wanted to congrat uh, congratulations of Bartos de la Rosa, Bango, and some others um, from our president, the Tertis, um group happy for them and let's stop criticizing about or commenting about them going to school to learn the laws and everything because most of them they already know about the laws they know a lot so it's not going to take them long for them to catch up a few things and to be senators is not going to be much more difficult than the job they used to do before so let's be supported of the new senators we have uh, from the party of the 30 and um, let's stop criticizing because nobody is born you know and already know how to walk everybody needs to learn we don't know how to talk when we are born but you know it comes along as you grow up with so every day in life we learn stuff until we die we're still learning and that's it so that's my uh, great um news and which everybody really knows is not great news if everybody knows it but that's what i wanted to cover that's what i wanted to feel to say congratulations brothers de la rosa i know you're gonna do well you bongo and other senators and less for all our people in the philippines less support all of them who just become new senators and it has new roles to play and to our country to continue proceeding the way it is at this moment in time. So we need good people like them. We need the honest people like them. And uh, perfect. So for now, thanks a lot. Let's continue supporting uh, them and Bartos de la Rosa and Bongo and the new senators. Welcome to the new role you guys have. Good luck and be there and be honest and be truthfully to our people and stop corruption anytime and what you guys feel you're supposed to be doing. You guys are going to have a lot of competition and people criticizing you um, for the new jobs because some of them they might have a bit of experience and they're going to talk a lot of shit. But don't take that too hard or anything like that. Take that as a challenge. Because, you know, a lot of people who has been senators for a long time, they think they know everything. But, you know, the new learners can teach them much more than what they think they know. So for that, put it on mind, all of you, the new senators, those senators who has been there for quite a while, they might take the piss. But it's all up to you what you can throw it to them. Because most of them, they don't read the small prints okay and the small prints in paper counts and some like everybody else and people around the world they don't like to read the small prints everywhere in papers the only thing is there's a big mistake big mistake what people do not to read the small prints so all my advice for my new senators read always the small print because those people has been in power for so long they don't like to read the small print 
and if you guys become to read the small print you have a bit a big advance on that because they will think they know everything when they don't know nothing at all and then that's when for you guys to throw them to their face how it is how it's supposed to be done and how it is done and what is the right way to do so good luck god bless the thirsty power always support president the thirsty do the right thing be safe god bless and welcome to the world of new senators to rule philippines take care bye bye